All right, I have a really fun workout for you today. This is for the men in my YouTube community, although of course anybody can do this workout. It is a hip circles challenge workout, and I'm calling it a manly hip circles challenge. We have two very important men in my life right here, my husband, Chris Grogan, and my father, Randy Hurst. So Randy is not somebody who does hip circles on a regular basis at all. <laughs> he's, <laughs> he's brand new to hip circles and he is 73, almost 74 years old. So anybody can do this any age. Chris has done a few hip circles. You can check out his other videos on my YouTube channel, <laughs> but let's get to it, you guys. So to begin with hip circles, you want to start with your feet about hip or shoulder width distance apart. And you want to bend your knees and you are going to start with just a pelvic tilt. So forward and back. So forward and back. Keep going like that. And let's have Chris turn to the side and dad, you can stay right there. Now you are looking perfect. Notice as you're doing this, your knees are nicely bent. That allows you more movement in your hips. And notice that what you're doing is when you're coming back, your pelvic floor and your uh, hip area is releasing. And then when you go forward, you can feel your butt muscles tighten up and your pelvic floor lift. So this is a really great workout for your whole pelvic floor area and your hip muscles. Now, a lot of men in American culture, the society I grew up in, don't really move their hips that much. And so this is kind of different for a lot of men, but it's such a great workout for control of the muscles of your hips and pelvic floor. Okay. You guys look good. Let's go ahead and shake it out. All right. So now we're going to just play with going side to side. So to the right and to the left with your hips, just side to side. Now the idea is I want you to feel how it feels to loosen your hips away from your upper body. So your hips are moving, but your upper body is staying pretty still. So let's see how we look here. All right. All right. I'm seeing this. This is looking good. Nice. <laughs> Keep going. One more each side. And I think we're ready to put it together. Okay, so now bend those knees again. And we are gonna do half circles. Just doing a half circle to the front. So it's gonna look like this. Knees are bent and we're circling to the front, to the front. So your hips are going to the side and to the front and to the other side, to the front, and to the other side. Keep going. You are doing great. How does it feel? Does it feel stiff? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> keep practicing. This is not something people are used to in general, and especially men in my culture that I grew up in. In my age. We just don't move like this, so this <laughs> takes practice. You're doing great. Okay, let's go to the other side now. We're gonna go to the back. So knees are bent and we're gonna circle back. So swoop it along back and back. Now notice the upper body is staying still. Yep. And it's like you're swooping back behind you. Swoop it the other way. So you're going to breathe steadily. Try not to hold your breath. You're doing great. Nice job, hun. And can you feel that activation of your pelvic area, your pelvic floor and your glutes as you kind of scoop it around forward. <sighs> okay, oh now we're gonna swirl it all the way around. So shake it all out, shake it all out and prepare yourselves because after we figure out this hip circle move, we are gonna add it to actual exercises, squats, lunges and planks. So this is a manly hip circle challenge. I hope you're up, you're up for it, right? Mm -hmm. So the full hip circle, knees slightly bent. You are going to circle all the way around. So your hips go all the way around, like you're drawing a circle on the floor beneath you. You can go either direction, it doesn't matter. Chris, why don't you turn to the side? Because I know you know what you're doing. How are we doing, Dad? You're doing good. Let's try to keep the shoulders a little more still. So your shoulders are still. And you are swirling just your hips, like you're drawing. <laughs> You're drawing a circle on the ground beneath you with just your hips and you can slow it down. 
You don't have to go fast. You can go slow. You can put your hands on your hips if that helps you. Yeah. And I want you to try breathing out as you circle your hips around forward. Exhale. Yep. And you should feel that kind of lift your pelvic floor, lift your low back, your low abs, your core is lifting as you circle it around forward. Now go the other way. So we always want to do the same number about of reps in each direction. So make sure you feel even between the two sides. One side might feel harder than the other and that's okay. Just be sure you are breathing. Go as slow as you need to go. Keep those knees slightly bent. And feel all the muscles of your core lighting up, especially as you circle around forward. This lifting of the pelvic floor, pulling in of your low belly. That area, we, you know, everyone wants to work that area, right? Okay, I think we feel even between the two sides. So now let's get to our challenge moves. Shake it all out. Relax, shake out the top upper body. <laughs> and we're gonna add hip circles to a squat. So we all know how to squat. You are going to squat your hips back. Make sure that your knees do not come out or in. We want our knees over our toes, the direction of our toes, and you are sitting back, okay? Now in this squat position, I want you to circle your hips. So this is gonna feel more like you're drawing a circle on the wall behind you. Now, <laughs> this really requires a lot of mobility for your low back. So your low back is really gonna have to move and you're gonna feel, especially as you tuck your butt under, you're gonna feel that lift of your pelvic floor and pulling in of your low belly. Okay, go the same number of times-ish the other way. Stay in that low squat and going the other way and see how that feels. So, Dad, how does it feel in your low back? It doesn't move. It doesn't move. <laughs> see, it takes practice, but that's okay. That's why we're here. So, maybe take a little break and <laughs> shake out the legs and try it again. You're doing great, though. Shake out the legs. You're doing great. Okay. <laughs> Do you feel even between I, the two I sides? Feel even. I hope everybody is trying this with us. And if you feel silly, just laugh and keep trying. It's so good for your back. So good for your pelvic floor. Okay, take a deep breath. Our next challenge move is a lunge. So for our lunge, you are gonna just do a basic, if you need something to hold on to, of course, do that. But you're gonna step one foot behind you. Back heel is lifted off the ground. Make sure your hips stay square and they don't tip. Okay, so your hips are going to stay square facing forward. You are going to sink down into your lunge. Again, hold on to something if you need it for balance. Find that position where you feel really stable. Then we're going to add five hip circles in each direction. So five times one way. And then you're going to go five times the other way. So keep going. Go as slow as you need to go. And why I love this is it's really challenging your balance, which is so important, especially as we get older. What are you saying? <laughs> <laughs> and it's also really working your core. So you're working your pelvic floor, all of your hip muscles, your low back. Have you gone five times each direction? Almost. Okay. When you're done, it's so good. We need to loosen up those hips a little more, but that takes practice. Okay, shake it out. And then we're gonna do same thing, other leg. So take a big deep breath. All right, other side. So now, other leg is back. Back heel is off the ground. Make sure again that your hips are square facing forward. It's not like this. This happens a lot. So don't let that happen. And in that nice lunge position, hold on for balance if you need to, five times each direction. It doesn't matter which way you start because you're going to do five in each direction. Keep going. And again, this is working on balance. It's working on control of these pelvic and hip muscles. 
It's so good for your low back. You guys are rocking it. How are we doing? Good. Breathe. Don't hold your breath. I don't hold my breath. <laughs> Keep going. And after this, we have a plank. We have a plank. So when you guys are ready, shake it out. How are we feeling? How's your back? It doesn't move much. <laughs> <laughs> so it's stiff, but it doesn't hurt, right? No, no. Okay, good. Now, if there's ever any pain, I don't want anyone doing anything that causes pain. But this next one, we do have to be careful about backs. So I'm gonna show you the move. If you want to join me right now, you can. You guys can join me after I demonstrate. We are doing a plank. In this plank, you are going to do a hip circle. Now, notice that when I pike up in my circle, I'm really active through my pelvic floor, my low abs, everything is pulled in. But this is the part I want you to be careful of. Don't let too much sagging happen here. You want to stay about neutral the whole time. Never sag past neutral. So not this. Okay? Here we go. So hip circles are going to be about a medium size. Kind of like you're scraping the inside of a wine barrel. So it's like there's a big wine barrel and like you're scraping the inside of that wine barrel five times each direction. Nice job. Breathe. You want to really exhale as you circle around the other way. Nice. And when you're done, you can sit back in child's pose. Child's pose? Child's pose. <laughs> this. We're going to sit back. <laughs> okay, stay in child's pose when you're done. Now, if you were like, that was way too hard, this is always, you guys stay there. Now, this is always an option for those Plank hip circles is you can do it from your knees. Just be sure that you are breathing and you can go slow and you go the same number of circles each direction. So that was it. Nice job. Good job, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. Hey, if you want more of these videos, for total core and pelvic floor health, because pelvic health is for everybody, please be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. There are tons of videos and playlists that you can check out and check the video description for more ways to work with me. Were you laughing at me? <laughs> Until next time, I'll see you next time. Eat clean, move every day, and you will shine brighter. Bye.